Hey guys, Tasha here with another car movie review. Don't you just love these? Sorry, I just made a face. My bad, I didn't see. Well, I mean, it would give you some much needed time off work. Oh, that's true. Never mind. My plan, my plan would have failed. No, no, it's true. All right, bye. Yeah, I'm probably, I'm probably gonna leave that in. Um, so I am going to review the movie Happy Death Day today. Uh, Derek and I went to see it on Saturday, and I mean, overall, we really enjoyed it. It was a lot better than um, what we were thinking it would be. Like I knew it was gonna be um, pretty good, judging from the the reviews the spoiler free uh, reviews that uh, i read um derek was on the fence and he's like eh, i mean the trailer looks okay but eh. but he he came out and he's like that was really good that was a lot better than what i thought it was gonna be so you know um basically uh the main character is this uh college sophomore named tree well teresa but people call her tree and um, it's obviously her birthday, and she like stuff happens that forces her to relive that day over and over and over and over again. I mean, from the trailers, you it, it pretty much tells you like um, somebody's killing her on her birthday, and she, and she's uh, been given all these chances to figure out who who's killing her. Um, and it it's just the way. The way that it's met, like filmed and everything gives me like super 90s nostalgia and early 2000 nostalgia uh, because of the, the the movies of that genre that I grew up with. And I wouldn't necessarily call this a horror movie, honestly. Um, and a lot of people are saying that um, it's bringing back the slasher genre and I wouldn't even go that far to say that it was um, it's a slasher. Because in reality, I mean, I really want to get, I'll give spoilers later maybe, I don't know, but it, it doesn't really ring as a slasher for me because it's, yeah, I'll tell those reasons when I get to the spoilers, but, um, I don't know, I don't really know, I think, I think it would classify better as a, like a suspense thriller movie, sort of, not even really thriller, but more suspenseful than anything um because for me ugh, horror is like i don't know like freddy michael myers jason stuff like that that like to me is classified as horror because there's a lot of like blood and um just murder and mayhem pretty much and this one is not that it does not give me that vibe um, it reminds me a lot of, mm, it reminds me a lot of Valentine, except only one per, well, there's only one person that's being, uh, like, hunted and attacked, which is Trey. Um, so, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, I guess, I don't know, I mean, what quantifies, uh, or what, like, uh, what makes a slasher movie? Is it like, you know, somebody killing multiple people, like having a whole, oh God, the heat was on. Um, like having issues with multiple, like killing multiple people um, with an intent, you know, like a reason? Or is it just, you know, does it matter the number of people being killed just that there's, somebody's killing somebody? You know, I don't, I don't know. For me, it's it's the former, um, you know, one person killing multiple people, or in the case of Scream, two people killing multiple people. Um, I don't know. Tell me what your thoughts are. I mean, do you do you th if you've seen this movie, do you think of this movie as a slasher movie? Um, but I know I definitely don't wouldn't classify it as a horror movie. But overall, it was it was a great movie. It had me laughing at parts, um, and it had me like truly kind of like afraid for this girl um 
but yeah it was it was really great so now onto the spoilers and I tend to get to the spoilers it seems like every uh, the same <laughs> anyways um yeah so spoilers if you haven't seen the movie you know click off now but don't forget to leave a comment like subscribe whatever um or if you just don't care keep going but yeah so Tree's a sophomore and um it's her birthday and she wakes up in a dorm room and apparently because she's a sorority girl this is like a big no-no and um she has some hangouts about her birthday like she doesn't really like celebrating it anymore and we later find out that it's because um her and her now dead mother share the same birthday and it used to be this great day and now it just reminds her of um that her mom's dead and you know blah 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 and um so yeah she doesn't really like her birthday and then um you know she goes back to her dorm room or not really dorm room but her sorority house and you know she goes to go to her room and you see her roommate there and who gives her like a birthday um, like a cupcake and um like the roommate seems kind of like a little like standoffish like you like you would look at those two and be like ah what are they doing as roommates they don't look like they would be the type of people to get along and but yeah so, um, you kind of like, it sets it up to where you, sus there's, no there's multiple people that you suspect could be the killer. And so you're like, oh, well, it could be this person. But then something happens, you're like, oh no, wait, maybe it's this person. And, and you kind of like, um, uh, nix the, the, per the first person you're thinking about because something happens to, to tell you, oh no, it couldn't be them. You know, they were here while she was getting murdered. Um, but, and, it, and it's kind of funny because it, the events that are happening to Tree kind of allow her to reflect on the person that she's become while, um, since she started going to college and joined a sorority and all that stuff, and she realized that she had turned into a, like, a fairly awful person um, and somebody that her mother would not be proud of um, and it, I mean really in the end she decides to change and become a better person uh, which is pretty good like which is pretty great because you don't really see that a whole lot in movies of uh, like this um, but I mean there's like romance and drama and like typical college experience and you know, I just I really enjoyed it and then I won't tell you who the killer is okay just in case you have not seen it but you don't care about spoilers I'm not going to tell you who the killer is um it it is very surprising but not surprising in the end um so yeah I'll I'll, I'll tell you that at least it, it's surprising but not very surprising um but yeah overall i i would give this film an eight and a half out of ten i'm not gonna give it a perfect 10 because i feel like it doesn't deserve a perfect 10 because there, i mean it, i don't know I don't, I don't think it deserves to be a perfect 10 but it was a really really great film um and I hope and pray to God that they don't make a part two because this film worked great as a singular standalone film that does not need to be remade in any shape, way, shape, or form. So Hollywood, please don't do that. Please, for the love of God. Um, so and I think it deserves um, the numbers that it got on opening weekend. Apparently it was number one at the box office. We saw it the weekend after it came out. So it came out on Friday the 13th. So not that Saturday, but the following Saturday. We saw it this past Saturday, which was the 21st. Yeah, we saw it on the 21st. Um, I don't know what the numbers were like for second weekend. I think Medea's Boo 2 took opening, or took uh, the, num the number one spot this past weekend, which, eh not 
I feel like Tyler Perry and Medea just been like overplayed. But yeah, that's not what this movie's about. Or movie. That's not what this video is about. So yeah, definitely go check out Happy Death Day. Um, I would say that it's worth the theater experience. Um, just because of all like the, the little jump scares and stuff like that. Um, it does better in the theater setting, I feel like. So yeah check it out and let me know what you thought about it um do you agree do you disagree um are you on the fence and uh i will talk to you guys later bye